Here we are going to see how to check if a function is even, odd, or neither. So we have two functions here. The first one is f of x is equal to 4x to the third power plus x to the second power plus 1. And for the second function, I just put these two terms on the bottom. And here's another small touch that I did. Here we have 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. I've been having a lot of fun lately coming out with questions with just 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. But anyway, how do we do it? Well, we have to remember the following. This is how we check when we are given the function in terms of their equations. If you are given a graph, I think it's easier. You can just look at if it's symmetric about the y-axis or the origin, right? It's even odd. You can check on other video for more detail in that regard. But to check if a function is even or not, we're plugging negative x into the function. If the function is even, then the negative doesn't matter. We just get f of x. And that's symmetrical about the y-axis. If a function is odd, and again, we're plugging negative into the function here. If this negative stays, and we can factor that on the outside like this, then the function is odd. And this right here will give you a 180 degree rotation, and then the graph was still the same. That's why it means to have a function that's uh, symmetrical about the origin. So either way, we have to compute this and see what happens. So let's go ahead and just get started with the first one here. We check f of negative x. And that just means that we plug in negative x into here and here. So 4 times negative x to the third power plus negative x and then square plus 1. OK, this is pretty much negative 1 raised to the third power. We still get negative 1. So the negative stays for the first part, and then we have 4, and then x to the third power. Therefore, if you just look at the first term here, that part by itself will have been odd. By itself, it will be odd. But we still have to consider the other ones. For the other ones, this right here, negative 1 squared is positive 1. So the negative disappears. So for the second term, we have positive x squared. And then the plus one just plus one, like this. Hmm. We have a negative all the way at the front. Also, does that mean we have an odd function? Is this the same as that? No. Because if you want to factor out negative, then this would be negative times, and this right here would be 4x to the third power. Remember, we will have to change the sign if you factor out negative. And then also change the sign here. This is no longer the same as the original. It looks like it though, but it's not. Be really careful. So be really careful. This right here is actually not the same as negative f of x. And because we have the negative, we can also say that this right here is not the same as just the original, right? This is not the same as negative f of x, so it's not odd. And uh, this is also not the same as the original, so it's not even. Therefore, this right here is neither. So don't let this negative sign trick you, all right? Even though this part in black is also the same as the original, but we have to do it carefully. So does that mean for the second one, it's also neither? Well, check this out. Again, we do the same check. We plug in G, we plug in negative X into G like this. And in this case, we will get four times negative x and then to the third power over negative x in here so negative x squared plus one negative one to the third power we have a negative right here and then four x to the third power over this right here is just x squared and then plus one okay but in this case have a look negative four x to the third power we can put a negative to the front, nice and easy, like this. And then this part will stay 4x to the third power over x squared plus 1. And if you look at this part, this is the same as the original. Therefore, we can say g of negative x is the same as negative g of x. 
So in this case, our function g is actually odd. So this is an odd function. Better yet, just go ahead and grab this and grab that on your graphing calculator. Then you can see that this is not symmetrical about anything. And this is symmetrical about the origin. So you can take a look at the graph to be convinced. All right, so that's how you check if a function is even or odd, or if not, then it's neither. Before we go, though, I have two questions for you guys, OK? So you try this, right? You try the following. So why not C and D, right? So C, let me just use H of x. Let's say we have 1, 2 plus 3, 4, right? 12 plus 3x to the fourth power. And then D, let's say R of x. Ready? 1, 2, and um, let's do this. x to the third power plus 4. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me know um, what's up with C and D. Are they even? Are they odd or neither? Comment your answer down below. That's it.